Hi, I'm Mark from Rocky Mountain Kitchen. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make cheesy ham and potato soup from scratch. It's only going to take you oh, 30 to 40 minutes to make, and it is delicious. So come on, let's get started, shall we? Okay, cheesy ham and potato soup. For the soup base, we want to use two cups of water, about five of these small potatoes, diced, about three small to medium carrot sticks, peeled and diced, and about two sticks of celery, peeled and diced. We're also going to use a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper. Okay. And then when we move on to the white sauce, we're going to use one fourth cup of butter, I use real butter, real salted cream, sweet cream butter. We're also going to use a fourth cup of flour, two cups of milk, and two cups of shredded cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. Then after the soup base is done and the white sauce is done, when we pour the white sauce into the soup base, which I'll show you later, we'll also add one cup of cubed ham, which is optional. You don't have to have the ham, but I like it and I'm going to use it. Okay, let me get these vegetables peeled and diced and we'll continue from there. Okay, let's start the soup stock, the soup base. Okay, let's start the soup base. We're going to put the two cups of water into the pot. And we'll go ahead and add all the vegetables. Then we'll go ahead and add the salt and pepper. And we'll make, give them all a good mix. And we'll put the lid on and we'll put that over on this burner and bring that to a boil. And we'll boil that for about 10 to 15 minutes. More like 15 probably. Then in the meantime, let's go ahead and start the white sauce. Let's get the burner turned on. We'll go ahead and put a quarter cup of real butter in here and let that melt. Okay, now that the butter is melted, we're going to add the flour. And that's a one fourth cup of flour to one fourth cup of butter. You want to mix this up, stir it until it's smooth. It shouldn't take very long. See, it's already done. See that? Can you see that? I hope so. Okay, then we're going to slowly add the milk, just a little at a time, and keep stirring. Got to stir it constantly. You want to stir this until it pretty much starts coming to a boil. A gentle boil is fine. 
We usually serve this with Texas garlic toast, like this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven on and preheat it so I can have the, have the garlic toast ready when this is ready. So now that this is coming up to a boil, we're going to want to add the cheese. Two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And that might sound like a lot, but this is how it's, how it's made, so trust me on this. Add it a little at a time. Stir constantly. Okay, you see the consistency this is? It's all melted together. When that's said and done, we're going to go ahead and bring this back over so that I can show you better. And now when it's boiling, we're going to add this to it. Stir it in. I'll switch to the spoon now. You don't want to drain the water out of the soup base at all. You just want to keep it in there and go ahead and add the white sauce mixture to it. Then you just want to warm this through. You like that? Just heat it through. It's probably ready to eat right now. I'm going to turn the heat down and just keep it warm until the toast is done. Now continue to stir it once in a while while I got the heat on low. Okay, I'm just about ready to put the toast in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and put the cubed ham into the soup. And we're going to mix that around. Now you can serve this with or without the ham. We like the ham, so we're going to use the ham. Okay. I'm going to put the toast in the oven, and when we're done, I'll come back and show you how what it looks like. Okay. Let's turn this off. And let's get the toast out of the oven. There we go. Dip up a bowl of soup. Serve it with some garlic toast. And there we have it. Cheesy ham and potato soup. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rocky Mountain Kitchen. If you did, as always, please click the thumbs up down below and click subscribe. Thank you, and until next time, bon appetit.